when your father was still playing, he went to Italy and played. Right. Took you with him as a young lad. Right. I think it taught you a lot. It did. I, I think that being in another country, yeah. my sisters and my mother, it taught us, first of all, family values, because we didn't have anybody to rely on but our family. And I think that we had to be very mature and moving from city to city and place to place to respond to that and to be handled as, as responsible human beings. And I think coming back here to America, I've, I've still kept my family values and the things that my father and my mother have taught me. He averaged 31 points a game last year, 12 rebounds. He got six or seven assists a game, four blocks. He just did it all. <laughs> and his team won the state. Yeah, that state championship really meant a lot to me. You know, in the previous years, it's all been individual goals. And, uh -huh. you know, coming to my senior year, everybody put so much pressure on myself and my team to win the state championship. And you know, after we won it, it was just like this, the biggest relief in the world. I suppose the big question, because so few have done it, and most have failed, as you know, come out of high school to the pros? It was just the challenge that was there. Now, well, college wanna, would have been a challenge. It would have been a challenge, but, you know, when people say that you have the opportunity to go to the NBA and play against the greatest players in the world, that doesn't get you going. I don't think anything will. In fact, you do some things like Michael <laughs> Jordan I'm talking about. Growing up, I always tried to dissect different players uh -huh. at an early age, whether it's Absolutely. You know, Magic, Michael, Pippen, whoever, I try to take different parts of the game and put them in the mind game so Good I can be a well-rounded athlete. You learned a lot in the summer league, I'll bet you. Definitely. You know, I've learned how to play the NBA style of play, mm -hmm. you know, the physicalness, the mental mental toughness that you need to get in there and get the job done. And the season in the NBA, you know, I understand it's going to be a roller coaster season for myself, but I'm willing to get in there and learn from these guys. Yeah. Well, you're probably going to be playing behind Eddie, your old friend from Philadelphia. Eddie's pretty good. Oh, he's very, very good. And, uh, I remember I used to play against Eddie when I was in eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, and he's basically seen me grow up. And uh, I've seen him play at Temple all his years. And, you know, we really went at each other even at that early age. Really? He's kind of, you know, he's took me under his wing even at that early age. People like you are going to put together the nucleus of the team. This is a pretty good team you're with now. Definitely. I, I think we have a very good nucleus. We have everything, all the ingredients, right ingredients for winning the championship. And, you know, hopefully we can put them all together and get in there and get the job done. What's it really feel like uh, to, to put on the, the gold and, blue and purple? Right. Well, it feels great because there's just so much pride. You know, behind the uniform yep. and the legacy that's behind the uniform. I remember growing up and seeing uh, Irvin Johnson coming to the coming to the NBA with the LA Lakers and winning all the championships, him and Mr. Scott and Worthy and so forth. And when I step on the court, you just feel so much pride to try to carry on the tradition, carry on the legacy that Mr. West and Chamberlain and the captain they all had there and they all instilled there. So it's just so much pride in that uniform. For you, it's like a dream come true. You know, ever since I got traded from. Uh, Try to LA, it seems like I've been dreaming and hopefully I won't start dreaming to the day I retire. If you want to know why your comfort zone is destroying your life, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.